Hello from South Cambridge here in the United Kingdom on a glorious September's day, which it honestly feels like the summer. Today we're diving deep into my recent solar upgrade and why I chose to invest in my family's future energy security. Stay tuned for some real talk on Give Energy's new offerings and how Halo Renewables has helped make my vision become a reality. Yeah. I've had another 14 400 watt solar panels and integrated two Gen 3 hybrid 5 kilowatt hour inverters. These can feed back 7.2 kilowatt hours to my house, crucial for peak hours. Here's a look at the panels going up onto the roof. It's a meticulous process, but well worth it. House positioning is key to maximize solar efficiency. If your house is shaded by trees or buildings, you can add optimizers, which help individual panels perform at their best even when others are in the shade. Jim from Halo was instrumental in this upgrade. Let's hear what he's got to say. We're adding another system to an existing system, a system that a customer's got. Um, his original PV array is only on a Gen 1 inverter. We are going to upgrade that to a Gen 3, which gives him a, a higher discharge and charge rate to the batteries. The, the benefits will be that he'd have an extra kilowatt to what he already has. Here's Jim and his team installing the Gen 3 inverters. Unfortunately, my Gen 1 had to be removed, but it was a necessary step for the upgrade. So we're at the point now where it's online, just needs commissioning so that it can uh, do its final part and calibrate these batteries. Um, it's been quite a, quite a nice install. Little bits were challenging, keeping the uh, look smart. And, and the process now is now that they're online is just doing the, the calibration as the customer's already been set up um, we can we can already go ahead and, and just get the two inverters get them on on the system and push it through as some of you might know halo did my first installation uh, and full disclaimer this isn't a sponsored video at all but i just find them very reliable that's why i've jumped in and we've sh i've shared a vision and they've tried to help me make going off grid a reality the system now has 34 panels on the roof that can generate about 13.5 kilowatt hours. Storage wise, one inverter has a 9.5 and the other 16.4, giving me a total of 25.9 kilowatt hours. While overnight charging on low cost tariffs still works, setting a maximum percentage for the charge no longer has an impact this system will charge to the maximum can during the time window that you give it rather than capping it at a specific percentage say 50 for example worst case scenario charging from not to 100 percent on both batteries would cost 1.90 at 7.5p per kilowatt hour Interestingly, on the day of installation, the Give Energy app showed that I'd used 2.58 megawatt hours costing a staggering 799 pounds showed up Naturally, I checked my Octopus account because although impossible, you just never know. Give Energy attributed this to the system being on a single phase, claiming the app wouldn't work correctly. I must say their customer service experience has declined significantly since I last spoke to them, which is concerning. With this setup, I technically can go off grid. I'm exporting at around 15p per kilowatt and I'm using Scottish power for that. Now let's delve into Give Energy's recent developments. Give Energy has launched an all-in-one system. Sounds wonderful. On the surface, it does seem like a step forward. Comes with an EMS that activates during power cuts. Critical if you have medical equipment in the house or you rely on power all the time. 
But let's be real, partages are quite rare in the UK. We get them quite a bit because we're out in a limb, but how many people are out in a limb? But here's the catch. The all-in-one system can't be integrated with existing setups, and it doesn't allow for additional storage. It feels like they've taken a step forward in features, but a step backwards in flexibility, especially for early investors like myself, who put so much into the Generation 1. And here's where the disappointment sets in. In just one year, Give Energy have moved from a Generation 1 inverter to Generation 3, and then suddenly dropped this all-in-one system. While this rapid evolution might make sense from a business standpoint, it leaves customers like me questioning their long-term strategy. I want to make a special appeal to Give Energy. You have a loyal customer base that believes in your products. Please don't cast us aside. We're asking for updates, additions and modifications to be supported. Stand by those of us who are trying to do the right thing. One of the standard features of this setup is the ability to feed back 7.2 kilowatt hours to the house. This is especially beneficial during winter when solar generation is so low and it's very frustrating. I'll show you a screenshot here where my house was demanding more power than the solar was generating and the batteries kicked in. So while 2.6 from the Generation 1 inverters was good, it doesn't quite cut it in a house that relies mainly on electrical appliances. From original setup in June 2022, I've saved around £300 a month, and that's a lot. But this upgrade isn't just about the savings, it's about investing in a future where the national grid's reliability is increasingly volatile. If you're considering getting solar and you're going to use Halo for this area, they're based in Peterborough and all the surrounding areas, make sure you quote Irish Pixel and I'm sure they will look after you. In a world where grid reliability is a growing concern, taking control of your energy needs isn't just smart, I feel like it's essential. If you find this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to do more videos on the generation, how this goes coming into winter and I don't know, maybe some quirky things about the actual system and how it works or doesn't work. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one and I will catch you later. Yeah.